Hey guys, this chimp's tutorial is going to be for Rake. I was asked to do the tutorial for Rake next. So for Rake, you're going to want to use Pat. So we'll go ahead and jump into Rake now. Now we're going to be starting off with a monkey sub up here and a dark monkey right here. Make sure your sub isn't too far to the right because later it would cause an issue where you want to place a ninja. You can place two ninjas here. If this monkey sub's too far right, you won't be able to fit two of them. Not too important, but we just do this anyway. And you want this dark monkey over here because it'll save us space for uh, more shinobis later on. We're going to be buffing our Grandmaster Ninja. You're going to leave both of these on first. Until at the end of round 8, we will switch the monkey sub back to strong and buy our ninja at the start of round 9. If you don't put the monkey sub on strong for 9, you die. That's why we're doing it. And we'll just leave it on strong from that point on. So once all these greens have come in, it should be right now. Switch to strong. Get ready to place a ninja right here. So the next thing we're going to be doing is upgrading our ninja to 201. And the reason we have Pat, a lot of people think that when you're doing a Grandmaster's dread that you want to use Oban since Oban's known for buffing the magic towers and he gives the extra pierce and stuff. Uh, he's not as good as Pat is on the Grandmaster actually because the Grandmaster has a lot of projectiles. Towers with a lot of projectiles pair really well with Pat's uh, roller ability. Not only that, but on round 40 with uh, Bunjutsu and an Alchemist, round 40 is usually an issue with Oban because on maps with multiple paths, you have to hope for good RNG that open puts the brambles on the path of the Moab, which is this leftmost path on Rake. So to eliminate the RNG of open not putting brambles where you need them to, to beat round 40, we use Pat, because you can just use the roar on round 40 and it'll easily take care of it. So the next thing we're going to be placing is Pat, now that we've got our 201 ninja. Pat's going to go right above where the ninja is right now. Have, we're gonna upgrade the ninja some more, so we'll get cow drops and double shot. Because we aren't gonna afford Berserker Brew before round 28, we're gonna use Pat's yeah. ability on the leads, just so the insides are pop faster. We won't need it for 30 because we'll have Berserker Brew by then. So you use Pat's ability now. Get down! And buy Berserker Brew.
Round 36, we're gonna use Pat's ability on the first wave of pinks. Just so we can be really safe with them. So use it as soon as the round starts. Now we're gonna be buying stronger stimuli. Go ahead and buy acid pool when pass are throwing. Since Pat is also in the range of the Alchemist, the pass are throwing, just ensure that your ninja is buffed more often. It won't matter too much anyway, since we'll start spamming shinobis. So the buffs will be all over the place at that point. Now we want to buy a village. Here comes a big one! Deal with this mob first. Use Pat's ability right before they start attacking the mob. Oh, it. Then we'll buy the village right here. We're gonna get this village up the jungle drums. And that's it for a while. I'm putting down here. You want to put them pretty tight because you can't fit five along here. Or four, I think. I think it's four. Ignore that pad ability. I didn't mean to use that. I think we got about five buffs on the uh, we're gonna take a break from getting bust to buy a bottom pad ninja. Flash bomb. It's gonna help with the lights on 63, and the sun's really helpful on 63 as well. And eventually, this will be a sticky bomb ninja. Here comes a big one. Just get it the one zero three. It'll be good enough. Now that you got that six minutes. But it should affect it. And it did. But if it doesn't, all you have to do is buy ninja. Just See that? What's the cadence? 
That matter too much, but having all 20 is nice. So now, what we're gonna be doing is waiting to afford Grandmaster Ninja. We won't need any abilities really because we got the Flash Bomb Ninja. We will help out on 76, 78, 79, 80. We'll use Pat's Hug in a war, I guess. Buster 
flash bomb really helps in 78 and couldn't tell. And you don't even need flash bomb with the second wave ceramics since our ninja is placing down a lot of cow drops. And this is the longest round in the first 100 rounds, so. It has plenty of time to put down cow drops for those ceramics. we need to buy is a mid intelligence bureau so that our grandmaster can pop the BDPs. Not really much we have to do. All you have to do is get something to help with 98 and 100. The Grandmaster Ninja will literally take care of every other round without any abilities. So we're gonna have roughly 40 to 50 thousand to work with. So you, you can literally do almost anything you want with that. You could overclock on the Grandmaster. You could buy a Sabo or two. You could buy all two arms on your mid. You can literally do almost anything that will help you be uh, around 98. with 
Like I said, 98 is the only issue that we're going to come across in the next few rounds. And then round 100, of course. The next thing I'm gonna buy is Call to Arms in my village. Call to Arms overclocked and Pat's ability will absolutely test me in round one. So that's why I'm calling Call to Arms. We're gonna overclock our Grandmaster. And we will use the Cat's Ability. You got another 18,000 to use on round 100. You can probably buy our first strike. I'm not gonna do anything. We're gonna wait until overclock's back, and then we'll use Pat's ability. And uh, easily dealt with for round 100. As you can see, this was a very safe strat. There were plenty of rounds where I didn't use Pat's ability. And if it looks at all close to you, you can use Pat's ability. Yes. The only rounds I use Pat's ability on are the ones that you have to. Except for the one time where I accidentally pressed the ability. Anyway, I hope the strategy helped you guys get your black border on rake chimps.